saber-tooth cats are one of the most iconic animal families that lived during the Ice Age. In this video, we'll take a look at one of the most famous genus inside this family, Smilodon. We will see just how these animals lived, as well as what drove them to extinction. Please enjoy. Saber-toothed cat isn't actually a species of animal. It is a family that split off from modern cats roughly 20 million years ago. One genus of the saber-toothed cat family is Smilodon, which in itself contains three different species. Smilodon gracilis, both the smallest and oldest of the species, estimated at 55 to 100 kg in weight, about the size of a jaguar. Smilodon fatalis, ranging from 160 to 280 kg, it was similar to a lion in dimensions, but was more robust and muscular. And finally, Smilodon populator, the largest, weighing 220 to 470 kg, making it bigger than the largest of the big cats on Earth today, which is the Siberian tiger, weighing from 180 to 306 kg. The ancestor of Smilodon evolved in Eurasia and entered North America approximately 5 million years ago. The oldest Smilodon is called Smilodon gracilis, which lived 2.5 million years ago and was a smaller and less robust species. Smilodon fatalis and the larger Smilodon populator. These two would have roamed both North and South America. Other species of saber-toothed cat, Homotherium latidens, was found in Europe but there is no record that any of the three Smilodon species ever lived there. Their most distinctive characteristic was a pair of fearsome, oversized canine teeth that projected downwards from the upper jaw. The blade-like canines of the Smilodon were long and slender, with finely serrated edges. These deadly weapons were up to 11 inches in curved length. Smilodon may be known as saber-toothed lion or saber-toothed tiger, but names can be deceiving. They were very different from the big cats alive today. These cats were actually not directly related to modern tigers or lions. Rather, they were a unique group of animals called Maracodontinae, which was a separate group to the Felidae, which is the group for modern cats. They split off from each other roughly 20 million years ago. Smilodons had a short tail and a heavy muscular build. Their physical features helped them ambush and pounce on their prey, rather than slowly stalk and chase it down. Their immense upper canine teeth were probably used for stabbing and slashing attacks, possibly on large herbivores such as Mastodon. Several physical adaptations of Smilodon suggest this hunting technique. Its skull was modified to accommodate the attachment of strong neck muscles for bringing the head down. The lower canines were reduced and the molars formed shearing blades with no trace of grinding surfaces. In addition, the jaw could be opened to about a 90 degree angle to free up the upper canines. However, some paleontologists suggest that since the muscles in the jaw would have had to stretch significantly to enable such a wide gape, they would have been relatively weak compared to those of modern cats. The bones of many Smilodon species have been recovered from the La Brea tar pits in Los Angeles, California. The cats were apparently mired in the tar as they preyed on other animals who had also been trapped. So how did they hunt? When Smilodon did hunt, it had a style of its own. Unlike modern big cats who have long legs and long tails used for balance when running, the saber-toothed cat was not very good at chasing down prey. Its heavy, bulky body, short legs and bobbed tail made it better suited for ambush attacks. It would use its powerful front legs to grab and hold prey so that it could use its formidable saber-like teeth which were serrated along the front and back edges like a steak knife. Smilodon would slash at its prey's belly or throat before retreating and waiting for the animal to die. However, it would likely not have attacked the prey's back or neck as the strong muscles in this area of the body could break the cat's teeth. The saber-toothed cat mostly hunted the large, slow-moving animals that were plentiful at the time, like sloths, bison, young mammoths, and mastodons. Some depictions show this cat as a solitary hunter, like modern tigers, but fossil evidence suggests something different. Saber-toothed cat skeletons with disease like arthritis or healed injuries have been found. If these cats hunted and lived alone, they wouldn't have survived with these injuries, as they wouldn't even be able to hunt for their own food. However, 
If they lived in a pack where other animals could share food with the injured animal, then an injury did not necessarily imply a death sentence. Evidence suggests that these cats didn't primarily hunt humans, although like big cats today, given the opportunity, would have definitely capitalised on an alone or injured human that couldn't defend themselves. Smilodon would have also had confrontations with humans over the land's resources, such as large mammoth kills. But Smilodon wouldn't have really come out on top, even if a fight had broken out in the first place. They would have probably tried to back down and try and find a kill of their own. Due to the advancements of humans at this time, Smilodon wasn't the top predator. Humans hunted and defend themselves with stone spears and bows, while armoured with thick hides from the megafauna they hunted. Humans were a predator Smilodon most likely avoided conflict with, due to the danger of a fatal injury. The extinction pattern of the Smilodon closely followed that of the Mastodon. As those elephant-like animals became extinct in the Old World during the late Pliocene, Smilodon died out also. In North and South America, where Mastodons persisted throughout the Pleistocene, Smilodon continued successfully to the end of the Epoch, suggesting that Smilodon became extinct due to their prey slowly disappearing. Maybe it was because of the appearance of human species like Homo sapien, Neanderthal or Homo erectus, but this isn't confirmed. Thanks for watching today's video. I hope you enjoyed the first episode of our new series, Ancient Predators. The saber-toothed cat family is home to some of the most beautiful and iconic animals of prehistory. There's something about big cats that I just love. I suppose it's their majestic look and their independence. I would have loved to see one up close in the flesh.